Um, it, 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 I'm curious what you think about certain people who are called leaders in New York City that, in the words of Carolyn Maloney, uh, who unfortunately uh, her district uh, was robbed of this uh, uh, Amazon uh, opportunity, uh, but she talked about 25,000 good paying jobs uh, that were lost. Uh, she talked about uh, massive infrastructure improvements that were lost. Uh, the fact that when somebody like Amazon comes to your area, that, that attracts other tech giants. <clears throat> the opportunities lost there are extraordinary for people, as Andrew Ross Sorkin said, who don't even understand basic economics. They actually think, you know, all that money and tax incentives, if the jobs were brought and all the other great things happen to that area. You know, he says there's a financial literacy epidemic in America. Quick lesson, New York City wasn't handing cash to Amazon. It was an incentive program based on job creation and how much tax revenue they created. There isn't $3 billion that can now be spent on subways or education. And unfortunately, Donnie, this project was killed by people who didn't understand that and also who ignored over 80 percent of Latinos in the New York area and 70 percent of black Americans in the New York area who needed these jobs, who wanted these jobs. End of the line, the people who wanted the jobs the least to come to the area were white elites in Manhattan. According All right, I'm going to stop it right here, Barry. And one thing I want to do, the I want to go back and I want to get your white take white elites on in Manhattan. Okay. Um, I want to get your take on this because Joe Scarborough to me makes a very, very interesting point. Um, he brings up race and of course, you know, um, <laughs> liberals, they love bringing up race. He brings up how many Latinos were in the city who needed a job that couldn't get a job. How many blacks? that needed a job couldn't get a job is he making a solid point on this year well keep in mind um scarborough is to the right of ocasio cortez he's a liberal who hates donald trump yeah but he's not ignorant of economic theory and he understands the fact that people that desperately needed jobs aren't going to have those jobs because there's no employer standing in line behind Amazon saying, hey, we'll take all that property, we'll create 25,000 jobs. So the devastation crosses all colors and all ethnicities, men, women, black, white, Latino, you name it, everybody's getting hurt by this. And he understands that. Ocasio-Cortez doesn't, he's trying to school her on it, but I doubt she'll listen. That's part of the problem is this young lady thinks she knows everything. I mean, we haven't even talked today, thank goodness, because I can't do it every day, about the great new Green Deal, which is the dumbest <laughs> economic, I mean this literally, the dumbest economic proposal ever advanced in the history of the United States of America. And she thinks it's a great idea because she has no understanding about economics, certainly not on a national level. So your morning Joe buddy gets it. Jobs are lost. That's bad. The people that lost the jobs that they would have had are hurt. And nobody's going to step up to help them. And ironically, the people that Ocasio-Cortez claims to represent, which are the minorities who are downtrodden that need her protection, are the ones that are hurt the most by her stupid decision to fight this to the death and kill the Amazon deal.